These little birds are really special because they're one of only two migratory parrot species in the world. They breed in a place called Malaluka, which is on the west coast of Tasmania. And they live there because there's lots of button grass plant species that they eat the seeds from. And they like to breed in the peppermint eucalypts that are found around the edges of these button grass plains. At the moment, we estimate there's only about 35 individual orange-bellied parrots left in the wild. There's only about 21 of those that are adults and the rest are juveniles and only a very small percentage of those adults that are left are females. So there's not that many of them that are left out there in the wild that are going to breed. With a small population, just about anything can have a big effect. Uh, but we think what's going on at the moment, the last few years particularly, that not enough females are actually attempting to breed. So what we need to do is to, uh, uh, to find out how many chicks have been produced in the nests. So we get a measure of the reproductive success, so that's what we've been doing, looking at all the nest boxes. Unfortunately we haven't found many birds using nest boxes, but we're pretty sure that there might be three to half a dozen females that are using natural nest sites, so we should expect to have some juveniles appear from that. But there is a big risk that this uh, species will, will die out completely in the wild. I'm comforted by the fact that we've got a pretty stable captive population, so the species is not going to disappear overnight. Our role here at Hillsville is to breed as many of these guys as we can, with the aim of providing animals for reintroduction into the wild. This breeding season, we've actually taken in 10 new wild caught founders from the wild. Nine out of 10 of them participated in breeding this year, and for a wild caught bird, that's a pretty significant achievement for us here at Hillsville Sanctuary. They actually produced so many chicks at one stage that we had to hand raise some of them because the females had some trouble rearing them on their own. The best way that you can help the orange bellied parrot is to get out into the field and join in the Birds Australia mainland winter census looking for orange bellied parrots that they run every May, July, and September. It's important to figure out where orange-bellied parrots are on the mainland because then we've got a better chance of being able to preserve and protect those areas.